guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome, so glad to have you. If you're old here, hello, welcome. I'm so thankful for you guys that you stuck around. Okay, you guys, I am so excited for today's DIY project. I've had it in my mind for about a year. So last fall, I started noticing a lot of customized doormats, really cute doormats that you can buy for like 40 to 50 bucks people sell them for where they will hand paint whatever you want on them. And I was looking in the fall time, so I saw a lot of like, hey there pumpkin, or like come in and cozy up, very like seasonal themes on these doormats. And I thought, oh, those are so cute. But then when I really started thinking about it, I thought, well, what did those people do when like it's not fall anymore? Do they just have a stack of doormats that they just cycle through? Um, so I thought, what if you had one doormat, but you could totally customize it and change things out, but it's just still one doormat? like a letter board. So that's today's video. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own customizable doormat. Um, so interchanging letters, you have one doormat, but you can literally write whatever you want on your doormat. You can change it up every day, every week, every season. You can literally do like whatever you want with this. And I'm so excited about it because I've had this idea in my head for so long. So I want to make this like an actual product, like an actual product that you can buy. Uh, so obviously it is not in that stage right now. This is just a way to DIY it with some cheap materials, though it still works. Um, so that's what this video is, but in the future I'm hoping to have like an actual product that you can buy that's a doormat and like a letter set of letters that will stick onto your doormat, little phrases that are already cut out in cute fonts that you can just slap down on your mat. I'm just, I, this is, I want this to be a real thing. But for today's video I'm just going to show you guys how you can easily DIY one. So you actually only need a few materials to make this and the first thing that you need is a doormat obviously and it's very very important that it is uh, has fibers because that's what is going to help the letters actually stick to it. So I got this doormat from Ikea for like ten dollars I think but I'm sure you can find these fiber doormats anywhere. I'm sure probably Target or Walmart has them. Um, but I got this one from Ikea, so here is the doormat I'm going to be working with. Next you need material, and this was the hardest part of it, and this is why it's a DIY and not like a product I would sell, because if I'm going to sell a product like this, I'm going to need to find like the perfect material for it. Um, when I think about these doormats, they're not doormats that you're gonna rub like your muddy feet all over, right? If you get a customized $50 doormat with a cute saying and cute handwriting, you're not, it's, it's more for show, right? It's for your Instagram pictures where you can post your shoes and your cute doormat, right? Um, so kind of the same for this. It's not meant to like rub your dirty muddy shoes all over these letters. Um, so, material, I was trying to find something that was somewhat waterproof, somewhat wipeable, but also like thick enough and kind of durable. I'll have to do like a lot more research for like the actual product that I want to sell, um, but for now, for the DIY, this works great. Um, so I just went to my fabric store and I picked up some thick vinyl. It's wipeable, it's pretty thick, it's easy to cut out, which is important for the DIY. So I got some vinyl, I wanted pure black, but they didn't have black, so I just went with this dark gray. But the nice thing about this is you can really get like whatever color you want to, if you wanna have colors on your doormat. Next for the DIY, you need some letters. 
And so I just found these letter stencils at my craft store. The important thing about these, um, you need letters that are continuous. And let me explain that because some of these aren't, but you can make them so. So obviously you just want to cut out like one letter. This A, for instance, is one piece. So this one works fine. But some of these other letters like, so here's the H. The H is actually three pieces. Um, this is fine though because I can make it into one piece. So just when I trace it, I'm just going to, or when I cut it, I'm just going to make sure that I cut it into just one piece instead of three separate pieces. Does that make sense? So these are my letters and you can literally cut out a whole like stack of letters if you want or just enough to make whatever word you want to say. For this project, I just went with a simple hello <laughs> uh, for my doormat, but I can change it up whenever I want. So you need some letters. And then the last thing that you need is some Velcro. And this kind of took me a while to pick out which Velcro to get because, so Velcro comes in two different parts, right? There's like the prickly side and then there's the kind of fuzzy side. You don't need the fuzzy side at all. Um, what you need is this prickly side. And there's lots of different kinds of Velcros, but I tried to find the Velcro with the longest prickles. I don't know the right word for it, but you want to try to find the Velcro that has the longest bristles because this is what is going to attach to the fibers on your doormat. So you want to make sure that the longer they are, the more like attachment it will have. So yeah, I just picked up um, some Velcro that looked like the prickles were longer than others. Okay, I feel like this next part is kind of self-explanatory from here on out, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did anyway. So like I said, I just stuck with a simple word, hello. Uh, to cut these out, I'm going to flip my vinyl to the back side. The H doesn't matter because it's the same frontwards and backwards, but for the other letters, I'm going to flip it backwards onto the back side of the vinyl, trace it so that when I cut it out, then this front side will show the front, will be the right side of the letter. Let me show it with the E because the E actually is a difference. So this is the right E. To trace it, I'm going to flip it this way and put it down to trace. So I'm just going to get all my letters traced out onto my vinyl and then you just cut them out. Okay, so now I have all my letters and now you just attach Velcro to the back. So the Velcro comes with the prickles on one side and like a sticky adhesive backside. So you're just going to cut your Velcro to size that will fit on the back of your letters and just adhere the Velcro to the back of your letters. And that is it. And then you can just adhere your letters to your doormat. Okay, so here's my doormat. The prickles on the letters are just going to kind of adhere onto the fibers. As you can see, I can just take it and just stick it on and it will stay, which is awesome. To get like a pretty good grip, I just take my letters and just kind of rub them back and forth so that the prickly Velcro can kind of attach onto the fibers better. So I just kind of rub it in and then it will stay a lot better, but isn't that so cool? Um, so yeah, just spell out whatever word or phrase you want. And you don't even have to do letters. You can cut out shapes or like literally whatever you want. I think it's so cool and so fun. I didn't really realize how big this doormat is. It's kind of hard to get it into frame, but here it is. <laughs> the letters are sticking, they're not falling off. Again, it's not meant to have like shoes rubbed on them because then they would fall off, but just to have like a cute doormat, 
They're shaking it and they're staying. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're going to go make your own customizable doormat. Also let me know in the comments if this is something you would like buy as a product, like a doormat with a set of letters and like pre-cut sayings and cute different fonts. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.